As you're following the flow of the water, a foggy marsh stretches out before you. Rickety causeway, causeways made out of wooden planks form a wide, web-like structure above the bog. Hundred feet away, many of these causeways converge on an enormous ivy-covered tree stump that rises a good 10 feet above the 20 foot high fog bank that shrouds it. Hmm. Hey. Oh, extra token, I don't need that one. Whoops. Is this downfall? I don't know. Uh, Does I mean, the little look like he told me? I've come to think of it, I uh, don't reckon I've ever asked. How did uh, how have your princey friend uh, describe this uh, downfall place? I'm not sure. He, he said it was a perfect place. I'm not sure what he meant. Well, I mean, I it suppose. It's a great place, but I... a great place for a frog. Well, I mean. You know, it's uh, swampy, and I think I can see uh, what uh, look like uh, lily pads over here and here. So, um, yeah, I mean, guess for a frog, it might be a nice place. I mean, perfect is also subjective. So. Well, I mean that too, but, you know, like, definition is also going to depend on, you know, what they need. I mean, God, be honest, I don't reckon that this is the most picturesque place, but, you know, am I to judge? He was missing it. I know that much. He did say swampy, but everything here has been swampy. Alright, um... Is uh, the current really moving the raft at this point, or are we just kind of... No, it seems to peter out as it gets to this area. Uh, so Victor knows the saying that the raft isn't really moving anymore. Uh, well, don't reckon the current's strong enough to really carry us much further. I uh, suppose we could uh, try getting off onto one of these footpaths here. I take a leap. As you jump on, you not hear the wood creaking quite a bit. A lot of the planks seem rotten. Well, well there, Nico. Uh, you might want to be a little bit more careful jumping. I mean, not to, uh, not to make you feel uncomfortable or nothing, but uh, you kind of uh, you put a few pounds on it there. A lot of the water that is around these walkways just gives way to deeper mud. You all notice. All right, uh, Victor is going to gingerly disembark off the raft as much as possible. You managed to get on just fine. All right, there Lobos we go. Don't creak too he is badly still carrying around extra you. weight. Nothing gives way. All There's right. a lot of creaking. You know what, maybe we so should you all had the sense that if you were to move quickly across these they may not be the most reliable footing. Hi. Uh just a suggestion, gang. Maybe we don't like move all together in uh one big clump here. Maybe we spread out a little bit so we're not putting too much weight on any particular spot, yeah. Okay, fine. And was that Pixie actually starts flying up again? Well, I mean, well, Pigs don't really apply to you so much because you don't have to walk on the ground like the rest of us. I was still sitting, or Pigs was still sitting on Victor's head. Well, well, yeah. That's see, enough. Well, yeah, you've already got your own personal taxi, so, yeah, don't... You haven't got anything to not moan about. In... Where is it that we are heading towards, Fig? I mean, we're on to this downfall place. Um, you know, a place uh, Pix mentioned. I mean, we haven't really found any real settlements. And, you know, if this downfall is, well, settlement, maybe we've just got a place to lay our heads down. I mean, no, you don't need to so much. But, 
you know, it'd be nice to just have a place where we could, you know, just get a little bit more answers about what's going on here. And to, more point, find the stuff we lost. You can all see a fire crackling towards the centre stump up here, as well as a torch towards here. Hi, oh, well, speaking of which, uh, hey, you see, uh, see that fire over there? Yeah, looks like we might have some signs of life. After you. All right, um, Victor will start heading in the general direction of. What did you say you where the fire was? I didn't see you ping it on the map. At the main stump. So over here, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the main, the only stump. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Vic will also know. Uh, I mean, to be fair, like it's the only part of this uh, this swampy place where someone could congregate. I mean, I'm gonna say that we're probably, probably gonna. Ha yeah, we'll probably need to go towards there before we can move on anyway, because we ain't getting anywhere by raft. So Maybe there's somebody who could give us some directions. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll always help. Uh, so Victor is just going to start moving quite gingerly along the planks. They're pretty spooked from kind of like seeing uh, how much they creaked when... Uh, Nico sort of initially jumped on, so he's being probably a bit more cautious than usual. Okay. So you to keep moving gradually? The way you're going to go? So, yeah, he's just going to follow the path. Until we get to about... Here, so how far is this uh, stump in the water away from where Five Vic's... foot away. So could Vic just jump onto it from there? Yes, he could. All right, well, looks like uh, just going to have to do a little bit of a hop, skip and a jump, so don't mind if I do. Uh, do I need to roll, or can I just cross it? Uh, no, I'll just let you make it. Okay, and then I'll have uh, Vic cross over to this path since it's probably... A slightly shorter route. Nico will take the other path. And where is Nico going? I'll, I'll follow uh, Vic. Okay, okay. Pixies What's everyone's uh, passive perception? Uh, let's check. I think uh, 11. Two. Solid ten. Ten. <laughs> Pika. Ten. Okay then. Victor. An odd feeling suddenly overcomes you. As you become aware that somewhere along the way, a hunched hooded figure has joined you you. Victor like alongside Victor or behind Victor? Behind him. Behind him. Does it kind of like move up to what to the side of him, or is it just kind of more that you get the it's sudden sound? Behind scent? Miko. Is it like Victor just looks back for a moment and kind of catches it in his peripheral vision, or is it actively yeah. making itself known to to him? You can outright see him there. Okay, I'm going to assume that he just kind of like is looking back, maybe at Miko, see if he's following, and then notices him behind him. Okay, uh, so upon seeing that, uh, you'll probably just turn around to Miko and just go, Hey Miko, uh, you doing not oh, Wait, what? Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> Pretty sure you weren't there uh, like 20 seconds ago. Uh, you, you doing alright there, pal? Uh, I'm again. doing fine. Uh, no, 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 oh. not you, Miko. Other friend behind you. I will look back and be overly startled. The hooded figure snickers. And suddenly, a white hand reaches out and grabs the hooded cloak and throws it off. And a Herogon reveals himself, wearing a bright blue scarf that wraps around his body. Uh -huh. Aha! You didn't expect me now, did you? That was a perfectly good cloak you just cast off and it's wasted now. 
In his right hand, he holds a branding iron that glows red hot. All right, probably should be more concerned about that. Um, any reason, yeah, just got that branding iron in your hand there, pal? Ah, well, there might be reasons. In the well, distance, you hear bagpipes start up. And a familiar tune from earlier. Oh, right, so, so... All right, listen, we already paid your sodding tax. Like, what do you want now? I want everything. You can't have everything. That's impossible. He points the branding iron at you. It's not impossible. Improbable, maybe, but not impossible. Well, it's improbable. Then, you know, it's going to be a lot of effort. So, you know, why bother? Just, I don't know, go home, rethink your life. Like, you really have nothing else bad to do now. Victor's actually talking loud. Just to clarify, Victor is raising his voice progressively to try and get the attention of the others. Just to kind of clarify that. Victor is flying back over, keeping a distance but flying towards it so she can pay attention to the situation. All right, listen, we're just trying to... You know you know what, I tell you what, like, if you just kind of come out with what what you want right now, we can just, you know, have this conversation can be on our way, and, you know, we just, uh, I don't know, got better things to do. Come on. Better things to do? Yeah. I've got better things to do as well. Now, give me our stuff. Does Nico hear this? I'd say, yeah, he's not being quiet. Oh, okay. Then he would have gone and followed Vic. He will have noticed you, given your larger frame and the creaking of floorboard Hi. beneath you. <sighs> As you start to get close, he glances over towards you, glances back. All right. And with Miko, he quickly... Tiger plus pressive perception score. Let's check. It's only sleight of hand. Boo, 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 boo. Plus seven. Miko, what are your AC? 13. Actually, no, sorry, your perception is 10, wasn't it? Sorry. Yes. I was looking at the wrong stats. Okay. He very quickly reaches into one of Miko's bags and pulls out... I'm going to say he reaches into the bag of holding. He pulls out a clump of dirt. He looks at it and sneers and then jumps. Landing the... He didn't grab the man. Think of the what? The man. The person in his bag. The bag nope. man. <laughs> nah. The bag man. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Hmm. Didn't spoil anything there. No, you didn't. <laughs> and with that, he starts jumping about from one foot to the other. With sticks and stones, I'll break your nose. And he jumps there. All right. Like, listen, I've had quite enough of this. Um, look, just stop up and around to come back over here. Tell us where we need to go and we'll be on our way. As as Vix is doing this, he's actually going to cast Charm Person. Because it's a range of 34. Ooh. Okay, then what is it I have to roll? Uh, wiz uh, you need to be 13. Wisdom. Okie dokie. He starts to shudder slightly, then looks at you quizzically. I'm trying to be reasonable, what can I say? I'll beat you blind and steal your clothes. And with that, he's going to jump over in front of you. And your passive perception was 11, 11. wasn't it? It is, yes. Currently behind him whilst he's doing this. His scarf is kind of floating in the air, up to 15 feet behind him. Seems to be magically floating. Okay, Vex uh... is going to try to dart over and try to grab the end of his scarf. And then fly up with it. I'd say he's not noticed you yet, so go ahead and give me... Where's the roll? Where's the roll? Where's the roll? 
an athletics check. You go to grab the scarf, but it seems to float just above you as you go to grab it. It looks back towards you and sneers slightly. Oh, and deduct one gold from your pouch, Victor. Ah, does Victor notice the gold is gone? Let's say you saw him dart his hand in and grab something into your, your pouch. Okay, as he does that, Victor's going, Hey! Hey, come on! Like, what? Is busy, busy sticking her tongue out at him and doing, like, the hand waving on the side of the face motion. Like, the. <laughs> With that, everyone roll initiative. Wow. First initiative. Does he get any kind of bonus for his initiative is the question? Second, actually. Um, for combat. Yeah. But yeah, you're I'm right. Adjusted. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, actually, how do I make those uh, lists on here? I should really look that up. Um, I know there's a there's turn a, order. There's a tracker button. somewhere. Yeah. I know. I, I think it's. I think it's a. I think the icon's a clock or something. Oh, Unlike the side back. Right Is there like a plus or minus symbol on it anyway? And who is missing? Uh, Pixie who's... isn't on there, I don't think. Unless she's the one who rolled the 16. No, 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 she rolled a 14. 14. I'm guessing didn't click on the token. And that's incredibly easy. Why does JP struggle so much with that? Looks. <laughs> so, in our first combat, that's exciting. Victor. I mean, Nico, even, sorry. I was just about to say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Get pushed in the water. Oh, here's the thing. Because my glaive uh, has a range of 10 feet. So I could directly hit him from this distance, but there are also people in the way. We're also very short, I think, <laughs> and you're quite quite a bit taller, so I'm not sure. If, I so you would be able to hit it because Victor is short in particular. Okay. Because I think actually Victor does <clears throat> have something specifically for that. So I, yeah, halfling nimble so that you can move through the space of any creature that is a size larger than yours, so I'm not quite sure if that implies the inverse. Mm. Prob mm. I think it's moving through the space, not occupying the same space, so... Ah, okay. Well, I can hit him from here, so anyway, so... Yeah. Um, I will use Wrathful Smite a bonus action oh don't actually roll that why did you roll it and then two hits that's a seven hit no hmm. it does not you swing in and he simply moves to the side a tiny bit and you actually nearly hit victor bloody hell nico watch where you're swinging that thing and then I point with my glaive towards uh, the heron. I say, return what you stole. Return what is. I stole? I will not return what I stole. It is mine now. Well, at least some of it is anyway. And that is right. for my turn. Okie dokie. That comes around to the heron. Actually, link up a token to it specifically. I'll figure that one out later. Yeah, it's you. You know, mm -hmm. using the turn order for now. 
He is going to jump directly up into the air and land behind Nico. Then he is going to do his sleight of hand check. Uh, what was your passive perception? Ten. Okie dokie. Do you have any smaller weapons on you? Small weapons? Dagger, uh, uh, the smallest I have is a mace that's on the side. He's going to grab that mace with his spur hand. Okay. And then he's going to start to run away. Then he'll end his turn. Is he running away? Do I get an opportunity of attack? You can do, yes. As he's running away. I will hit him. Oh, that's that's nice. 24. Okay. He lingers too long with trying to grab the mace. And you, your glaive comes straight down on him. Roll your damage. Let's see, that is this, plus my Wrathful Smite. Does that carry over? Yeah, it's concentration. Mm, bastard. So, 16 damage, and he needs to make a Wisdom saving throw, or be frightened. DC 15, let's see feel. Ooh, okay. That means he can't move any closer to you, isn't it? Or is it mm -hmm. a disadvantage? Uh, disadvantage on attack walls, and he cannot move closer to me, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, you smite his ass as he starts to run away, and he drops the mace onto the floorboards. And he's going to collapse onto the floor, rolling onto his back and looking at you with fearful, wide saucer eyes. Second. <laughs> and then I say again, return what you stole. <laughs> his turn ends. Oh, he also, has on, he also has disadvantage on ability checks, I see. As long as it's uh, within line of sight. Okay, so one thing does all. <laughs> Okie dokie. He's turn. I believe it's my turn. Um, I think that's about where Pixie was. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's 35 feet. If I move within 20 feet... I'm still on the regular roll for dagger, right? Um, is it is it 20, 20 or 25? Feet and 60 feet, and I'm not sure how the, the longer distance works. Uh, the longer distance is disadvantage. Yeah. Between 20 and 60, was it? Yeah, 20 and 60. But I believe if I'm within 20 feet, I have a regular roll yes. for dagger, right? But you've also got advantage because he is now on the floor. Technically prone. Pixie is still ignoring pathways, so yep. she's flying straight towards him. Did Dag actually got advantage? Go ahead. You throw your dagger, and then he scuttles back ever so slightly, and it lands right between two of his toes. Yeah, Pixie is done with that. Just sneering at him. Okay, then. In that case, it is now Miko's turn. Uh, I want to take a quick look back to the big stump. Is there any commotion from co that? Any noises well, given the noise you've been making? You pick up. Okie dokie. 
You can hear murmurings coming from on top of the stump. You can hear bagpipes from... It seems to be coming from around about this boat over here. Oh, there we go. Around about here. And you do see little flits of shadows dotted about along other walkways. Uh, we may not be alone here. I'm going to back up to about here. And then I'm going to rummage around in my uh, pouch and pull out a piece of leather and just sort of rub it on myself a little bit and cast Mage Armor. Fair enough. Your spell works as intended. <laughs> Which, I don't, oh, wait. Well, that's my turn, anyway. Okie dokie. Now, Victor, your turn. Okay, uh, let me see um, how far away. Is this map to scale, by the way? Yes. Okay, should be in majors. Okay, so Victor is just going to shout over to this guy and just say, Listen there, you bloody bongo not Get up off your ass! Return what you stole and sod off! Vicious mockery. Uh, is it a wisdom save? It is, 13. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. You know um, I'm going to give him disadvantage on it because he's currently scared of Nico. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, DC's 13. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Sort of, um, Victor's just getting progressively more annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not receptive to him, so, um, <laughs> uh, I think, um, he's not gonna do anything else this turn. Okay. Go back to the top of the turn order. Nico. Nico will... Walk towards the now scared thief. And he will try to get the mace back. So you can simply pick it up because I said he dropped it on the way. Oh, so. oh okay. Then I, is that an action to pick it up then? It'll be an interaction. Okay. <clears throat> so I pick it up. Um, seeing as he's already prone and scared, could I try to tie him up with the rope that I have in my backpack? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to do a post uh, athletics check for that. For him, it is with disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> Actually, no, that should have a plus two. No, it's a different, sorry, looking at the wrong stats. Oof. So, if you come over, he is absolutely stuck in place. His saucer like eyes looking right at you. He's looking at Pixie, not quite as scared, given she missed, but looking back at you. He attempts to roll over to start to scramble away, but you just grab one of his legs and effectively lift him up and tie him with one hand until you got him very tightly bound. <laughs> In the distance, the bagpipe music stops. Combat ends as he's wriggling around. Was was the bagpipe music kind of getting progressively louder? How noticeable was it to us? It was playing in the background the entire time. Oh, I think Victor will comment on that. Hey, uh, any of you noticed that that, that bagpipe music? It kind of just suddenly uh, stopped when we uh, detained him. Maybe, uh, maybe all that pr sort of I don't know prattling about was him summoning something. I don't know. Or maybe the person who was playing the backpack is on its way here. Since uh. he's tied, Pixie will pick up her dagger 
Rixie, she said, and then she will start trying to pick his pockets. Considering he's he wriggles, bad. but he has no way to resist. I bet, sir. Uh, get, get about uh, five gold for me, would you? You know, since he took one of mine. Roll 3d8 and 46. Oh, damn. Ooh, nice. Six, seven, eight. You get 21 gold coins out of a pouch and 13 silver. Hmm. Throwing five of those gold coins, or giving five of those gold coins to Vic, another five to Nick, and if Miko's around, another five to him. All right, thank you kindly, Pex. Thank you. Now, what else did you steal? Don't hurt, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Please, please don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. He closes his eyes tightly. His ears droop. Answer the question. What else did you steal? Um, 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 lots of trinkets and bits and buggings and things and lots of things. And where are our, our Laura team? takes all the good stuff. Who? But, 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 Laura. It's like your Lorna. The hag. Oh, um, yeah. Nico, given you were having, you were paying more attention towards the stump, you see various other Harrigons looking towards uh, you guys now. They seem to be looking you all up and, well, you guys up and down. Not in a way that's as if they're going to attack but more as if they're looking at someone strong that they are impressed by if any of them glance towards the other Herogon, they look disdainfully say Victor wasn't Bethlorna the thought uh yeah yeah I remember Members uh, Satolivar mentioned uh, some some about that, didn't he? So that means that you steal stuff and then share it with her. Yes, that was the deal. Got me down from a tree, okay? But the deal was the best thing I steal, she gets every time I steal, okay? I'll uh, hang about a second. I'll get your to. What's your name? Pretty stupid deal. I drawn long staff. Oh wait, are you that brigand prince or something? It... Despite him being covered in fur, you think you see his cheeks redden a bit as you say that. <laughs> oh god, yeah, like yeah, I remember. Like uh, we met like an entourage earlier on. Sort of like, sort of like stolen how great you were. Yeah. Like, you can't even, uh, can't even steal something from a band of lowly adventures. I mean, I don't reckon I've even, like, drew my weapon in my life. Aye, right, bloody hell. No offense, mate, but can't say I'm impressed. Encourage this behavior, Victor. A prince should not steal. I. I'm disgusted by this behavior. Oh, yeah, I've got to be honest. I'm not ain't too uh, sort of happy about that either, but uh, by the way, talking about it, yeah, you know, kind of thought that, yeah, we're a champion of the people, but uh, I mean, you don't even realize the value of a good cloak. It's just floating there in the swamp. Hey, you know, someone of your stature, you should take better care of your stuff. No, at least of all, taking some other people's. As Vic is talking about the cloak, Fix is flying down to inspect that. Uh, you grab it and you lift it up. It seems to be quite a nicely made uh, leather cloak. You don't know the material specifically, but it's a form of leather. Obviously now it's also covered in mud water. I feel like it'd be quite nice to wear if it was wet out. Rain would slide straight off it. Uh, 
<laughs> anyway, I'm not sure this is your size, but it might fake Nico. Yeah, yeah, I mean... I think it's Nico. I mean, you know, like, I wouldn't think of us, you know, taking some vibe. I mean, you caused us a lot of trouble, friends. So, you know, the gold and the cloak, it's just, you know, rightful compensation. Hit the cloak. I don't care. Just, please don't hurt me. I think hurts. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Look, you cause, you're, you're a pain in the ass. Like, there's no getting around that. But, uh, tell you what, uh, we'll probably let you go, alright, if you just, you know, answer a few questions for us, you know, kind of, you know, make all the trouble worth it. Fine. While you are speaking, a Herogon has come down from the stump and is walking towards Miko. 